ever wanted to get under the skin of some of your favorite celebrities? I mean, beyond their endless tweets, million and one TV appearances, and of course, self-posted images? Well, here's your chance to ask them the questions you've always wanted to know. Welcome to Speakerbox, the hottest interactive music show on TV, where you get to put your favorite artists on the box. On this week's show, we have two of the creme de la creme of the African music industry. Let's check out artist number one. Hello, my people. You know how it's going. Uh, it's your boy, David O. And I'm here to answer the questions for my fans on Twitter. And yeah, let's start. At Oxborn, when will you be collaborating with Whiskey? <laughs> um, this is like my, my most like asked question ever. Um, we meant to collaborate like last year, but, like some things came up and we put it. So we're, we're actually planning to do like a couple of songs, like a mixtape maybe. So sometime this year, you'll probably be getting some songs from me and this kid. Hey, sexy lady, I want you in my life. And I want you to be my wife. Baby girl, just you and I. Oh, my baby, you too fine. Oh, you they make me, they lose my mind. This feeling is killing inside. Wanna see you every day of my life. I've traveled east to the north to the west. At Geese Kid, what inspired you to your hit song, Dami Do? Huh, I, I think I remember that night. Yeah, I was coming back from, I think I was coming back from a show. I was coming back from somewhere outside Lagos. And then I got stopped by the police. And then they were like, oh, you should come down and all that. And then I came down and they were like, who are you? And I was like, yeah, I'm a musician. And that time, nobody knew me. I was like, I'm a musician. Uh, my name is David Do. They're like, we don't know you, Joe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the station. I was like, you know what? Today, I will do something that will make everybody know me in this Niger, plus the police, plus the governors, plus the everybody. And I went to the studio and I made that song. And the next day, all the police in the whole world, Nigeria knew who I was. And I saw that same policeman again. And like next time I saw him, he asked me for money. And I said, no, who are you? I don't know who you are. So go and do something that will make me know who you are. So I made that song. And um, God blessed me, he made it a hit, and it's just, it just been up, up since then. At Mayor Singh, how do you balance your music with your other obligations? Hmm. As people may know, I'm, I'm still in school. I have like a year left in school right now. Um, it's hard, it's really hard. I go to school, my fans are in school, even the teachers are fans, even the people that mark your exams are fans. So like, we have to like work harder and show extra dedication because we just they think we're just here to play around and distract everybody. But like I'm in a part-time program in school, so I don't really go to school every time. I go like once a week, sometimes once in two weeks. So I have time to um I have time to really like work on my music, work on my shows, and then still go back to school.
at Mukaila12. Who were you really referring to in the song, All of You? I was referring to all of you now. Plus you, that even asked this question. <laughs> you know, um, really, I made that song in Abuja, like one night, it was like, it was really a freestyle. And then like my label, they were like, oh, they like it, they want to put it on the album. I was like, are you sure? It's kind of late. And they were like, nah, it doesn't matter because I call that song like a self-empowerment record because it's like, whatever you do, you should feel like you're the best in whatever you do. at Helvetica underscore EE. -E. Between Nigeria, Ghana, SA, and Kenya, what country has the most beautiful girls? Um, Africa as a whole has beautiful girls, you know what I'm saying, the continent. But me being from Nigeria, my mother is Nigerian, my sisters are Nigerian, so I have to go with Nigeria, of course. But I do love Ghana, I do love SA. I haven't been to Kenya yet, I'm yet to go. But um, I'm sure they have beautiful girls there too. But Ghana, let's see, they have very, 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 very beautiful girls. But I'll have to go to Nigeria because that's my culture and that's where I'm from, of course. And the way you didn't move, make you want to see it down. Girl, I want to call you Carolina. And the way you go now, no, baby, girl, you want to tell me to see it down. I know you know me now. At Catch Sexy, who do you look up to in the Nigerian music scene? Um, I look up to a couple artists, uh, reason being like I've known people like the band Nero C before I even got into the industry um, and then when I even came in the industry I met those like P-Square, Nice, Nonjazi and then you know so they really spoke to me, advised me on how to go, what to do, even whatever, what, whatever you're doing, you know what I'm saying, those that have done it before you. There's nothing wrong with taking advice from anybody. Even if you feel like you're better than anybody, there's nothing wrong with taking advice. So, you know what I'm saying? I respect those people for coming to me and giving me my advice at that time. <laughs> <laughs> At Caitlyn, Caitlyn Neon, you treated your Valentine's would be the luckiest girl in the world. What did you do for her? Um, I didn't, it's not one person, of course. Um, what I really did, I went to a motherless baby's home and I picked all the girls, uh, they have a Valentine. And uh, I took them all out, I bought them a lot of gifts each. And I just made them feel special. Because I remember growing up and not having a Valentine, because I wasn't even that fresh when I was young. You understand? But yeah, but it felt really good doing that though. So that's what I did. Yeah, when I look into your eyes, you're a blessing in disguise. Yeah, you make me wanna do this. Ring around the roses. And I love the way you smile while I give it to your nice. Yeah, I hold your hands up. And everybody must When I'm with you, you give me this sort of feeling in my heart. When I see you, you give me this sort of tingle in my heart. When I'm with you, you give me this sort of tingle in my heart. When I see you, you give me this sort of tingle in my
Wow, easy. Um, so I have to caption this picture. I see a girl covering her eyes, and I see who is laughing. Uh, look, it looks like a shy fan to me. It looks like a fan, like one of his fans that's shy or something. Maybe our first time meeting him or something. But he's laughing at something. I wonder what he's laughing at. Maybe they're telling him, grab her now, grab her now or something. On Speaker Box, it's all about interaction. So here's a chance for you at home to get involved. And all you need to do is go on the Channel All Africa Instagram page and caption this pic. Let's see if you can think of one better than mine. I think I pretty much got it right. So, well, that's my time up. It's been great answering your questions. And you've been watching David O on Speaker Box. Don't touch that dial. OBO is in the building. Respect. Still to come on Speaker Box. I hope you guys think it's as funny as I think it's you. Welcome back to Speaker Box. My name is Darren. Sorry guys, I know I can't sing to save my life. I try all the time. Someone upgrade my career, please. Okay, well this is Speaker Box News and you know that on the show, I will be bringing you the very best of social media celebrity gossip and news. Yes, what more could you ask for? Try not to watch me, I dare you. All right, now so everyone has been practicing their best Madonna strike a pose. Yes, Don Baba J or God Don Jazzy has announced that he will be releasing a clothing line really soon and of course it's called Maven Clothing which of course will be in I think summer 2013 yes well models be on the lookout why is Don Jazzy not even calling me don't I look like a model I know size zero the food I eat goes to my hair <laughs> just kidding guys well models be on the lookout soon because the auditioning dates will be announced very very soon don't leave without my heart. Who left without her heart? Congratulations to the first lady of Maven Records, Tiwa Savage. T-Bills recently surprised Tiwa Savage with a wonderful proposal at her birthday party in Lagos. Attendees at this celebration, I am talking about the likes of Don Jazzy, Banky W, Tools, and all the other celebrities kept posting pictures on Instagram of the fabulous couple and the wonderful ring. I think I saw the ring more than Tiwa's face. <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't get an invite. Why? Okay, I was somewhere. Don't mind me. All right, congratulations from Channel O. And we're saying to Tiwa Savage and T-Bills, happy married life. Make way, make way. Nollywood actress Omotola, a.k.a. Omo Sexy, is set to release a new album. Now, I know that Omotola is never quiet about anything she does. This is world domination. Well, Omotola recently tweeted a picture of herself and Bobby V, the American R&B singer, in a studio in Atlanta. Seems like Bobby V is going to be on her album. Mm, you heard this first on Speaker Box. Okay, well, it looks obviously, again, like the African and American collaborations that took place last year are so going to happen in 2013. The next time you see my gorgeous face, I will be bringing you the very best of social media news, celebrity gossip, and what have you, you just ask, you name it, and I'll bring it right to your screens. Now it's time for artist number two. Hi, it's Mo Chetta, and I'm here on Speaker Box today on Channel O, and I'll be answering a series of questions from my beautiful Twitter followers. So I'd love to know what they want to know about me. So let's go. The first question is from Sandy Cutie. And her question is, I love how you always change your look. Give us three style tips. Please, I want to be fly too. Hmm. I won't really say I have like three style tips, but um, I will say confidence. Like when you're confident, no matter what you're wearing, you just automatically look fly. So if you think you look good, trust me, you look good and you have to show it. And as well, um, over the years, cause like I'm always busy and I had school and I'm always traveling back and forth. So to hide like my bag, I wear a lot of sunglasses. I'm not saying I'm hiding bags right now, but yeah, I wear a lot of sun sunglasses to just cover up and it makes you look, just look a little bit edgy. And as well, just do you. 
do you? People try to say, oh, you look funny. Oh, that bag is not going to work. All oh, those pants look weird. Just wear whatever you want to wear and go with the flow. So as long as you have confidence, you can wear whatever you want to wear and you're going to pull it up. Alright, the next question is from V6 Edichi and he or she wants to know if your parents don't love the guy you're going to marry, would you fight them and win or be happy or would you find someone else? Uh, I don't have this issue so yeah, let's just put that aside but if you are going through this V6 Edichi, I just think you should go with your heart if you love this guy or this girl and you're sure he or she is perfect for you, come on. Run away. I'm not saying you should like fight with your parents or anything. Your parents should always be in your life, but do what you have to do. I'm a lover girl, so love and go. <laughs> The next question is from at Sundu Kire. I hope I got that right. I'm sorry. Okay. Most girls who are famous can't cook. Can you cook and what can you cook? First, how do you know they can't cook really? Like you don't go to their houses and see how they do, but you know, me just saying. But I love to cook. I love food. I love to eat. I love traditional food and I love to try new things. And I, I believe like in my past life, I was Igbo. So I cook a lot of banga, oha, um, ogbono, eguzi. I love food and I love pounded yam and eba. So I do a lot of soups, a lot of soups. So yeah, this girl right here can cook. It's an understatement, B, I lost my breath Walking over the humor, uh, I lost my step You got me confused, I felt a grip tight in my chest You radiant like the sun above, you so damn blessed Try to comprehend, be the things I wanna do with you I wanna Ferragamo, Fendi, Gucci, Prada, Louis you. But really, if you comfortable and feel like we compatible It's possible a year or two from now I have a ring 
The next question is from, okay, at D Baby Soul. Okay, do you have any plans to go into acting or launch a fashion label? Well, I always say like, if I got a good script, I would love to see what I can do like acting as someone else because I'm always myself. So I like to be this, maybe like a Bond girl or something, you know, just do something crazy and just be this character for a while. So yeah, if I get a good script, I'll probably try and try out a couple of movies. And would I like to um, start a fashion label? I love fashion. I love to style and dress myself. I love to design and tweak things here and there. So I don't know if I'm going to start a fashion label. I've not really thought about it. But you see, with time, we'll know. You didn't wash me like shampoo, shampoo, shampoo. Wash me like shampoo, shampoo. All the money with me at the drop She ain't had no need try for you Always on the night trip, always on the club See you with another guy chilling at the bar Spending all the money with me at the drop She ain't had no need try for you Hi, it's Mochada and I'm right back to caption this picture. It's of AK and some dude I can't really see, but my mind keeps telling me, oh yeah, guys, see, I could glow in the dark. And then the other guy is really like, really like in the background and he's like glowing in the dark. So yeah, that's what I can see. You guys see, I glow in the dark. That's all I see, so yeah. So Chanlo would like you to visit their Instagram page, Chanlo Instagram, and caption that picture. I know you guys have really weird ideas, so I'd like to go check it out and see what you guys do, so go! Well, time is up, and I really enjoyed answering your questions. I had a blast with you guys. Hope you had fun as well. And Mochetta signing out of Speakerbox. See you guys later. On the next episode of Speakerbox, Chitima, can you give us the full gist? <laughs> what really happened with you and Wiz? You make such a cute couple. <laughs> okay, um, the full gist is...